Hello and hi for this uh, AWS uh, Developing Associate Knowledge Tech series. So in this module, we will go with module 13. So this is the last one in this uh, uh, Knowledge Tech series. You see this module 13 is automating deployment using CICD pipelines. So this is the last module afterwards, you need to go for certification. So let me click this module 13 Knowledge Tech. So here you have about 10 questions where you need to get up at least 70% correct. So these questions are very very important for your exam preparation. Please try to do multiple times and also review the questions which are wrong and also which are right multiple times. These questions may happen a similarity for you to write in the exam. Okay, so here is our first question on our screen for module 13. So, which options describes the philosophy of DevOps? So, DevOps is about removing barriers between development and operation functions to optimize productivity and reliability. Yes, this is correct. So, the second question on your screen. How are DevOps practices reflected in the software development lifecycle for cloud architectures? So, here the right answer is uh, every phase of the software development life cycle is automated. Let me click. Okay, it's correct. Third question. How might a developer use AWS code pipeline in their continuous integration and continuous deployment that is CI CD process? So, here we use uh, this automate the steps that are required to release software based on a release model that the developer defines. Yes, this is correct. The fourth one, which statement about CI CD is true? That is continual, uh, continuous in delivery deployment. That is true. So, so let me check this. S continuous integration requires team to write automated tests. Let me check. Yes. The fifth one. A developer wants to use infrastructure as a code for their Java based web application on AWS. Which task might be part of their work? So, create an AWS CF that is cloud formation template with a resource section that defines the AWS resource for their application. This should be the right answer. Okay. The sixth question on your screen A developer wants to use a single AWS cloud formation template for both the test and production environments. Which section of the template might they use to support this approach? So this one is should be use the condition section to control whether certain resources are created during the stack creation or update. Okay, the seventh question. Which statement about AWS cloud formation stacks is true? A cloud formation stack is a unit of deployment that should be the right answer yeah the eighth one a developer is building their first serverless application on aws what must they think about differently with respect to deploying the application so they can't use or they can't replicate the production environment locally in the same way that might be that might with a server based deployment yes absolutely okay the ninth question how does an aws serverless application model aws sap template differ from an aws cloud formation template the globals section is found only in aws sap you don't see in uh, cloud formation okay the tenth one the following lines are in the resources section of AWS serverless application model SAM template. What would these lines create? So this is orders AWS serverless. It is a simple table. It reflects to something on a DynamoDB. So an Amazon DynamoDB table that is called as orders. Let me click this. Yes, this is correct. And this is uh, completion of module 13 yes you have the score of 100% congratulations and this is the last module of the developer series 
please prepare your questions for the exam very well and these questions are more or less similar for your exam preparation thank you very much and bye